Today's video is brought to you by Beautiful Halo. Um, thank you so much for sponsoring me, first of all. And if you guys would like some good quality anime merch, you can go to Beautiful Halo, link in the description below. And on your next $49 plus order, you can get 5% off with the code MEME. And if it's $99 plus, you can get 10% off with the same code MEME. M I M E. Let's get right into the video. Welcome back guys, this is the King of Weebs here, and this is What If Naruto was taken by, well, What If Itachi took Naruto, part 3 finale, last time we left off with, you know, <clears throat> Naruto losing to Saki. He lost to Saki, but Naruto didn't give up, Naruto now knows that Saki is with Orochimaru, so he has to train harder to even be, well, of course Saki could have easily been destroyed by Naruto but of course Naruto took a lot of damage he doesn't blame his team he doesn't blame anyone except for himself and so Naruto decides that he's going to train harder of course Naruto then leaves the village with Jiraiya of course he trains only a year with Jiraiya not more than a year and now after training for so long Naruto then says goodbye to Jiraiya Jiraiya says where are you gonna go now Naruto and then Naruto says that he's going to go train with someone that he knows, with someone that he trusts, someone he respects, Itachi Uchiha. Then Jiraiya asks, wait, what? And of course, then Naruto told the truth about Itachi to Jiraiya. Jiraiya, of course, Naruto trusted Jiraiya. And Naruto said that, do not tell anyone other than Tsunade. Because he will bring back, well, Itachi one day. And basically, then Naruto leaves. Naruto goes to Itachi. Itachi welcomes Naruto. And then trains Naruto even harder. Naruto, of course, having one Sharingan. He actually... Is able to use the armored Susano perfectly. Of course, now Naruto having the full armored Susano, he needs more power. He he's kind of power hungry, but not really. But anywho, the only reason he wants power is to save everyone. Anywho, now of course, uh, <clears throat> Itachi says that he doesn't have much time remaining, but Naruto then explains that it's fine. He's already got something going to uh, to save him, and of course. Uh, Itachi was like, what do you mean? And basically, you know, Naruto says that he's going to <coughs> get Tsunade to heal him up before, you know, uh, his last day. And of course, uh, you know, Itachi was baffled and he's like, but why Naruto? You know, if the villagers come to find out, you know, if I can't tell anyone, right? And basically, Naruto's like, it's fine. You're a hero. You're no traitor. You're a hero to the village. And so, I will tell everyone. Of course... It might go against your ideals, but you cannot continue like this. You have to get healed, or otherwise you will die one day. And of course, Itachi then says, all right then. Okay, I understand. And so, now, Naruto, of course, after finishing his two year and a half year training, he returns to the village, showing everyone who he is, and tells them that he'll become Hokage, and he'll change this village. This village is full of hatred. Of course, Naruto knows that for himself, since he's... You know experience this and so now naruto then explains that oh you know he will stop the cycle of hatred not only in this village but in the whole entire world of course the shinobi world is literally full of uh, you know hatred like there's nothing other than hatred in this world right now but of course naruto wants to stop it and so he will anywho of course after this naruto you know after training uh, for two and a half years returning to the village actually tells you know uh, <clears throat> Tsunade uh, that uh, she will have to come out of the village one day to actually help him out with the person that he needs to save and of course it is uh, uh, <clears throat> Itachi Uchiha of course Naruto wants to save Itachi anywho of course Tsunade accepts and so the next uh, well of course the next day Naruto still comes to find out about you know uh, <clears throat> the capture of uh, Gara, of course, Naruto's pissed, and so he goes off on his own to go and uh, you know save Gara. Of course, now that Naruto's on his own, not with the team, since Team Seven is not like uh, you know um, 
Naruto Steam, Itachi Sai and Kakashi and Sakura. Of course, they're sent too, especially because of her, you know, Conqueror's situation. And anywho, after this, you know, Naruto and, uh, <clears throat> uh, you know, Naruto and uh, uh, the Team 7 actually arrived a bit after Naruto, but Naruto already headed out. Anywho, Naruto comes into the, you know, a hideout while well, Team 7 just arrived, uh, arrived at the, uh, you know, sand village and Naruto sees that Garo's tail beast has already been extracted of course uh here I'm just going to say that I talk a bit less because of plot convenience but anywho now Naruto of course tells them that he's going to kill them all and he's not going to have any mercy and yeah now of course um Naruto actually goes off on them he actually awakens no not awakens that he summons the susanoi and basically you know uh, sorcery and Deidara have no chance against them but you know sorcery seeing that naruto has a headband yes naruto got a headband from tsunade tsunade actually gave naruto a headband because now naruto is returned to the village and yeah now that naruto has a headband uh he sees that it's from the leaf and so he actually tells naruto about the well he gives the information about orochimaru to naruto and so now Naruto having you know uh, the information about Saki uh, where they're going to meet up and he could find Saki as she leaves them and you know after killing them he actually uh, returns Gara to the village and you know uh, crying you know the, he was actually crying and uh, you know Chio actually gave up her life because she saw that Naruto actually cared about someone from the sand and this is something that she hasn't seen in her life and you know that she's lived for a while and so she was moved and she's like all right then if you really want this uh, the Kazakage to return I'll do it but remember Naruto Uzumaki this is the one, only time I can do this and you better protect this village after I die and basically Naruto's away what and basically Naruto doesn't know what this is but uh, Sakura then explains to Naruto that this is a uh, forbidden technique that gives it's a life for another life and basically Naruto's like wait well, hold up what? and you know how you know Chio never really lost any chakra against Deidara, or I mean Sasori. Um, she can actually do it on her own without the aid of Naruto as in the original. But anywho, now, of course, Naruto who uh, <clears throat> sees this happening, he was moved by Chio's sacrifice. Especially because uh, even Naruto, uh, knowing the cycle of hatred, never thought of, you know, another, you know, shinobi from a different village giving up his life other than, you know, him and Itachi or maybe Saki or someone like that uh, you know he's never thought of other people uh, from different villages giving their life up for another one for someone else from another village but of course this is from the same village but anyway you know she's doing it for Naruto's sake because Naruto you know is uh, uh, like <clears throat> Gara's friend and everything and anyway so Naruto says that she will be remembered forever in, her, in his heart and Gara's and anyway after this you know Naruto returns to the village and actually tells uh, team 7 that they can bring back Saki and anyway of course now they actually go together since Kakashi never really got uh, injured or anything he never used, uh, used his Kami because Naruto annihilated the two Akatsuki members real quick and you know saved Gara. Uh, yes, so now Kakashi is with them and you know Naruto here kind of gets pissed but he doesn't want to really use uh, <clears throat> his, uh, you know, uh, <clears throat> Naruto's powers. Yes, Naruto can actually uh, use the Naruto's chakra, um, well, rarely, but of course uh, he can actually use a bit and so uh, he doesn't do it but Naruto using his own skills, a Rasen Shuriken, yes, Naruto has actually developed the Rasen Shuriken but it's not fully the Rasen Shuriken, I wouldn't say it's perfect but of course Naruto trying the Rasen Shuriken actually, you know, created a Windstar Rasengan which he actually threw, it was a bit like, uh, you know, it was it was blue but it was mostly like, uh, what's his, um, Boruto's one so it was like a B-Tech Rasen Shuriken, anywho, of course now Naruto uh, sees this and says, no, this is not perfect. And of course, he knows that this technique is not, you know, complete. And so, he told, he uh, says to himself that he needs to train even harder to master this technique because it's not finished. Anywho, of course, now, Naruto, who, um, you know, uh, kind of destroyed Orochimaru, Orochimaru still escapes as per normal. Even though Orochimaru could have took Naruto on right now, even though Naruto is not fatigued or anything, he wanted to, you know, trigger him a bit. To see if Naruto would actually use the Nantil's power, but of course Nantil's power, but of course uh, he didn't. But anywho, now uh, Naruto, uh, <clears throat> after this, you know, uh, goes uh, actually follows, you know, 
uh, Orochimaru and Kabuto because he does know about you know um, them going back to the hideout and so he actually uh, does it himself uh, with Sai and Sako and Kakashi and they're all following in the end Sai still finds Saki and you know Sai, uh, uh, Saki says oh hello Sai and of course then she sees Naruto Naruto of course having the headman on his arm this time and she's happy to see uh, <clears throat> Naruto uh, back in the village and she's ecstatic but of course she still tries to be uh, like the normal Sasuke the emo Sasuke uh, like in the original but of course that doesn't really go too well especially because you know um <clears throat> uh, she's not the emo type but anywho of course Naruto uh, lets her into her uh, you know her mind but here she doesn't really meet the Naitos but she meets you know Naruto's uh, you know Naruto and Naruto tells Saki to return to the village because it's not worth uh, being with Orochimaru and she should just return. She should just not she should Josh. She should she should just return. And anywho, uh, of course now Naruto who uh, well Saki declined saying that she needs more power and Naruto says, "God damn it, Saki!" And basically, of course, uh, he actually uh, you know. Uh, uses a bit of the nine tools this chakra now Saki realizes this and basically Orochimaru's like Saki we gotta escape and basically they escape anywho now Naruto actually was pretty pissed off that you know uh, Saki got away and he couldn't rescue her but he realizes that he needs to train and he needs to master he needs to master the Rosan Shuriken of course they return and Naruto begins his training with Kakashi Kakashi really wants to train Naruto and Naruto uh, and Kakashi really bond together but anywho of course uh, now uh, Kakashi and Naruto together they were able to master the Rosen Shuriken well of course with Kakashi's help Naruto was able to master the Rosen Shuriken not Kakashi as well but of course it is what it is now Kakashi of course got some training off of this too Naruto actually gave him a few tips with the you know the <clears throat> Mangekyo because Naruto has the Mangekyo himself uh, as we know uh, right guys you know I gave Naruto the Mangekyo Sharingan I'm pretty sure I said that he used the Susanoo but anywho A uh, I mean like you know Shisu Susanoo not a random seasonal but anywho now of course now naruto uh tells uh kakashi well of course naruto actually comes to find the uh, you know find out about asuma's death and you know tells her uh, shikamaru and choji uh that it's all right he'll go with them and of course he tells kakashi that he, uh he'll be going with team 10 to actually you know go ha hunt down the two akatsuki members and you know uh kakashi actually decides to come with them of course, uh, Sakura and Sai weren't able to come because they left too early. Uh, they actually found out a bit afterwards. But anywho, now Naruto uh, actually, you know, uh, takes on Kakuzu while Team, you know, uh, <laughs> Team Ten actually goes off on their own. Uh, well, t with Kakashi to take on uh, Hayidan. Of course, uh, Shikamaru does most of the work, and you know, Kakashi just watches over the, uh, them and. Uh, Ino and Choji did play a bit of a role here, but Naruto, of course, it's the well, the fight with the fight against Kakuzu and Naruto, uh, Kakuzu versus Naruto is a bit more interesting, which I'm going to explain now. Of course, Naruto starts off with just a few normal uh, techniques like a fireball, a uh, water shockwave, and of course, they don't work, but anywho, of course, Naruto realizes that Kakuzu is much stronger than what he thought he was initially, but anywho, now Naruto, of course. Uh, <clears throat> Uh, being able to understand how Kakuzu operates and Kakuzu having all five chakra natures. Of course, Naruto didn't know about that before, but anywho, uh, now, anywho, of course, now Kakuzu actually says, Enough, I've had enough, I'm going to kill you right now. And Naruto says, How about you use your full power, Kakuzu? And Naruto has some information about Kakuzu and from Itachi, but anywho, of course, Kakuzu is like, I'm going to make you suffer, and of course, now. You know, uh, Kakuzu uh, uses his five hearts, he brings them out, and Naruto says, interesting, interesting ability, very interesting. So technically, I'll have to kill you five times to over to kill you once. Ah, oh, what a drag. I understand why Ishikamaru doesn't like being a ninja much. Anywho, of course now, Naruto being Naruto, actually makes five clones, which all take on one heart, but of course, Kakuzu uh, is more used to fighting against multiple people with these hearts, but anywho, now, of course, Kakuzu says, alright then, let's begin this fight, and of course, as he says that, you know, uh, <clears throat> he actually attacks Naruto with a five, uh, you know, na uh, chakra nature combination uh, to kind of annihilate, you know, Naruto, but of course, Naruto was able to stop this with just a seasonal ribcage, anywho, 
now Naruto of course uh, then says is that all that's quite weak uh, to be honest but anywho now of course Naruto uh, <clears throat> of course Naruto now Naruto then says okay then let me try and of course uh, his clones got destroyed just saying but anywho now Naruto actually you know body flickers in front of you know uh, Kakuzu's uh, fire heart and you know destroys it with one you know water uh, technique uh, yes fire is weak against the water I'm pretty sure we all know that um, and yes now 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 Naruto who of course uh, destroyed the fire heart um, easily uh, was done with it and you know uh, he actually uh, you know uh, went off on his own uh, <clears throat> Naruto then you know uh, looks at the lightning heart and just says wind style <clears throat> wind hurricane and basically uh, he you know uh, well blows away the uh, lightning heart up in the air and basically Naruto ju uh, just throws a kunai to actually you know just hit his heart and basically then he explodes that kunai was in embedded with you know light uh, well wind chakra which destroyed uh, you know the heart easily but anywho now Naruto has had enough and so <clears throat> he actually <coughs> one second <coughs> anywho yeah so uh, sorry I had to cough there in a bit um yeah so I don't have corona I lost corona listen to me I don't have corona anywho now of course Naruto had two three more hearts Kakuzu the original heart and two more the <coughs> the wind and the water one anywho of course Kakuzu is ground anywho well, earth, not ground. Anywho, now Naruto went all out on the two other hearts, easily destroying them with the Susanoo. Yes, Naruto has the Susanoo, and of course, he destroyed them. Now, Kakuzu, now, of course, was raining. Kakuzu uses his earth grudge on Naruto, but of course, it has no effect because Naruto is too strong. Naruto was able to jump up, and Naruto created the Rosen Shuriken with one, with one arm. Of course, Naruto is OP as hell, that's why, I mean, if he did it with three clones, it would have been much easier. But, Naruto is strained right now, literally, he's using a ton of power, chakra, and, you know, uh, <coughs> everything, <laughs> everything I say. But anywho, now, of course, Naruto um, was able to, you know, uh, uh, finish off Kakuzu with the Rasen Shuriken, and he finished him off. Right as, you know, Team 10 and Kakashi and the rest, you know, arrived and they were really surprised at Naruto's new uh, technique because he literally ripped, he ripped Kakuzu to a molecular level and literally Kakashi saw this and he's like, yeah, Naruto, I wouldn't use that in a normal fight. If you're sparring with someone, never use that. Understood? Anywho, <clears throat> now Naruto said, yeah, of course I wouldn't. But anywho, now. Naruto, of course, returns to the village and hears about, you know, Saki killing Orochimaru and going to find Itachi. Of course, now, Naruto told uh, Tsunade to come with him. But, of course, Tsunade said that her student, Sakura, is more than enough. And Naruto says, are you sure about this? And basically, uh, Naruto then sees Sakura and Sakura is like, trust me, Naruto. I swear I'll help you. And, of course, Sakura came to know about Itachi. And so, you know, Naruto was like, I trust you, Sakura. You better not fail us, understand? And of course, Sakura's like, understood. Anywho, now, of course, uh, Naruto and Sakura went off the, on their own. And Sakura actually asked a few questions to Naruto. For example, how Naruto got this strong. And, you know, Naruto then says that it was just the will of, you know, being acknowledged or of him wanting to be acknowledged because he was never acknowledged in his life. And, you know, now he, that he wants to get acknowledged, uh, uh, you know, he wants, uh, he became stronger. Uh, because now the village can't really say Naruto is weak or, you know, he's irrelevant because Naruto's strong as hell. Anywho, now, of course, Naruto and, you know, Sakura arrived at uh, the uh, Chiha hideout. And basically, they, uh, you know, Sakura began and they came two days before, you know, uh, so, uh, Saki and you know Team Heavy came and of course when Saki arrived you know Itachi told her the whole the whole truth instead of fighting because he doesn't want to hurt his sister but then you know uh, Saki's like you're lying and basically you know she was about to attack Itachi but then Naruto comes in the way saying no Saki Itachi's not lying it's all true understood and basically you know Saki's like wait even you Naruto did he brainwash you and basically Naruto's like no Saki he killed the Uchiha clan just to save you. The Uchiha were about to rebel against the Leaf Village for all the discrimination they went through. And now uh, Itachi wanted to save you out of everyone. And so he did by killing the whole clan and saving you. And of course, you know, 
uh, Saki started crying, saying that, but why, why would you do this? And you know, no, you know, so, uh, you know, Tachi just said that it's because you loved her, and basically, you know, everything and blah blah blah. Anywho, now, <clears throat> uh, Naruto uh, actually, you know, uh, hugged Saki, saying that it's all good now. You you can return to the village. Even your friends can return. And you know, in the end, Saki just gave a signal off to actually, uh, you know, uh, escape and basically. Uh, once they actually return to the village, you know, Naruto and uh, <coughs> Saki, you know, talked a bit about their life. And basically, Saki's like, uh, well, Naruto then says you should go and uh, get, you know, your eternal Mangekyo Sharingan. Because Saki, as I said, Saki did awaken her Mangekyo, uh, I said it multiple times. And so, now, you know, Saki went off to actually, you know, um, implant her eyes, in, uh, well, transplant her eyes. But anywho, now, of course... Uh, <clears throat> Itachi accepted this because Itachi was going blind anyway and Sakura, uh, I mean Saki said that they can both you know have their vision back as long as they do the transplant and basically you know uh, even Saki has been losing some vision and yeah whatever now uh, you know Saki and Itachi did the transplant and of course during this time um, of course uh, you know um, Killer B was actually attacked by uh, some other shinobi, uh, also, also known as um, Kisame and, uh, you know, um, <clears throat> Obito, yes, Obito actually he started working and, you know, he actually helped out his, uh, uh, you know, organization to capture the Eight Tails and the Eight Tails was captured. Of course, Naruto hears about this and, you know, uh, as this happened, you know, uh, <clears throat> Jiraiya in the end still suffered the same fate. The of uh, nearly dying here, of course. Um, I said the same thing because on and some of my wives I did uh, allow him to survive. And basically, Jiraiya, since he had a year to a year and a half, and a half to himself, he actually mastered Sage Mode in that time, and so he was actually able to escape, doing more damage to the pains, and uh, you know, um, uh, reverse summoning Jutsu him, Jutsuing himself back to the village. And yeah, of course, uh, now you know, uh, Jiraiya. Uh, returned to the village and Naruto found out about this and basically while you know uh, Itachi and Saki were recovering Naruto went off to uh, <coughs> do his uh, sage mode training anywho after returning from his sage mode training Naruto of course uh, <coughs> well after finishing the sage mode training Naruto actually um, what's it what should I call it uh, Naruto <laughs> Uh, returned to the village and he saw that the village was destroyed as per normal because you know a uh, pain uh, didn't have any mercy on them and you know destroyed the village because he couldn't be asked waiting anymore and yeah of course uh, Saki and uh, uh, <clears throat> Saki and Itachi really couldn't do anything because of uh, uh, <clears throat> uh, them not having their eyes you know uh, and basically Naruto actually saw Kakashi dead. Kakashi was actually his master now. And so he got pretty pissed off and he's like, alright then. And in the end, you know, Naruto comes and saves Tsunade with, uh, you know, destroying the, <clears throat> uh, what's it called, the uh, Naraka path. And also, S Haku and Zabza, of course, died too during this attack. They were actually trying to save the village. But of course, uh, they couldn't do anything and basically Naruto got pissed off that even... Uh, his old subordinates got killed and basically Naruto went on a rampage and in the end, you know, uh, Saki, who was still alive, well, Saki didn't get killed, uh, Itachi nearly get, got killed because he actually tried to fight, while Saki did try but in the end she couldn't, uh, <clears throat> because uh, <clears throat> was, um, Itachi actually stopped her from actually going into the fight and actually, you know, uh, saving her by protecting her with her own but with his own body but anywho after this you know um saki actually came out of nowhere with her blind eyes basically she can uh she could barely see with her normal sharing gun and basically you know she was her eyes were bleeding and basically she got stabbed just like basically she tried basically saving naruto from the fate he was about to go through because of pain but in the end you know uh, naruto actually got pretty freaking pissed off at you know pain for doing this and basically went into a rampage just like in the original naruto has never gone into such a rampage before and he's already in his six tails form because all the you know anger uh you know st stood up in uh, in naruto's uh, mind and heart you know uh, all came out at once and basically naruto went into his six tails form and in the end naruto actually you know destroyed pain easily and then he <clears throat> after destroying pain naruto you know um 
uh, actually took out the rods and he still met his parents. Uh, well, only Minato and Minato told him who he is. And basically, Naruto was happy but at the same time sad. Uh, but in the end, actually still went off to find, you know, Nagato. And he actually talked no jutsu with Nagato. And Nagato actually revived everyone in the village. And, you know, Saki, who nearly died, was getting killed by Sakura. Actually, you know, awoke and basically her eyes and now actually went back to normal. Of course, after using her once, she actually got used to her now. And yeah, Naruto, of course, then said, Should we go and you know, destroy uh, <clears throat> uh, Danzo next? Yeah, just because uh, you know, Danzo actually went to the Five Cog Summit instead of uh, you know, um, Tsunade, even though Jiraiya was here uh, and he was the favored one, Danzo was able to convince the you know. Uh, <clears throat> Leaf Elders to allow him to go because uh, basically he knows a bit more than um, you know Jiraiya he's more used to these kind of political matters and basically you know Naruto uh, then you know said that he wants uh, <clears throat> you know Shisui's other eye because you know he actually does know about Shisui and he already has one of them and so he actually goes off uh, and in the end you know uh, they actually arrived to see that the Akatsuki were actually attacking the Five Kage Summit and they declared war for the Nine Tails because they have all the tail beasts except for Naruto and basically Naruto now has to go master the Nine Tails strength. But anywho, of course, Nar uh, in the end, Danzo actually died trying to protect, uh, uh, <clears throat> you know, himself and you know the Nine Tails Jinjuriki and everything. You know what I mean? And in the end, you know, after Nar uh, after Danzo died, Naruto and uh, and just saying. Danzo didn't even get to use it on Agi because Naruto actually helped out the Akatsuki killing Danzo. Yes, that happened. And of course, that was kind of controversial, but Danzo deserved it. And, you know, in the end, Danzo got, I mean, Naruto got the other Sharingan. And in the end, you know, he was able to, uh, since his eyes were already, like, uh, you know, used to the Sharingan, he can actually activate and uh, deactivate it. So basically, now he's an Uchiha. But anywho, well, putting, putting it simply, he's an Uchiha now, but... Of course, he's not. He's Uzumaki. Anywho, now, Naruto still goes to the same waterfall because the, um, you know, Raikage says that it's good for him to go there. It's a better, it's a secluded area. And, you know, uh, here, Kisame is still alive. Same as uh, um, Obito with the Rinnegan. And so, there are more people. And, of course, in the end, uh, Kabuto actually um, helps out the, uh, you know, <clears throat> Akatsuki by actually saying that if he gets Saki, um, uh, then he will reanimate most of the shinobi that, you know, got killed and to help them in the school. And basically, Naruto still fights the Nintos on his own. And he's more than strong enough here. Especially because he has the Susanoo, but in the end, still meeting his mother. And his mother, uh, you know, Kushina, helping him. And uh, in the end, still Naruto mastering the Nintos' uh, strength. Of course, he's not, he doesn't have the, uh, you know, KCM2, but he has KCM1. Then in the end, goes to the war. And yes... Here, the war goes a bit similar until, you know, the fight against Nagato because here Naruto is in his own and Nagato was about to kill him until Naruto actually, you know, activated the, uh, you know, um, Sharingan and still Nagato uh, was able to, you know, hold Naruto in a, you know, um, uh, well, strangle Naruto and in the end Naruto actually went unconscious and he was about to get captured by Nagato but then Naruto, you know, um, felt something within him awaken and basically, you know, that Awakening was actually, you know, Ashura's, uh, you know, powers, uh, <clears throat> you know, uh, Ashura actually helped out Naruto. It wasn't even the fucking uh, Sage of Class. It was literally Ashura was like, nah, bro, you ain't dying tonight. And then, he, of course, uh, Saki, who, you know, was uh, Indra's reincarnation, still came to help out Naruto. And yes, of course, uh, I'm just going to say that Indra was actually a woman here. And Indra was the older sister. But anywho, now, and, you know. Uh, uh, allow it. I'm joking. Indra is the actual guy, but anywho, uh, that doesn't make sense because I just realized something. Uh, when well, no, 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 no. I'm thinking of something else. Indra was actually a girl here, and anywho, now I'm thinking of a different story uh, to do with this land, but please allow it. But anywho, uh, now of course, Naruto, um, you know, uh, awakened and basically his eyes changed into, uh, you know, he did, they didn't change form, but. His eyes power increased and basically Naruto then actually awakened the eternal, well, no eternal monkey Shangan, but he awakened the, uh, you know, perfect Susano. And just saying, because Ashra got all of the power from the Sage of Six Flags. So basically, not, uh, Ashra had everything that the Sage of Six Flags had, and the Sage of Six Flags had the Renegade, had the fucking uh, Susano big as the fucking Ten Tails. So uh, don't at me, anywho. Of course, Naruto then just looks at Nagato and says, I'm sorry, Nagato. And Naruto got an, an, another thing. He actually got. Another, you know, uh, <clears throat> whatchamacallit, he got a second, uh, uh, well, 
a weapon i completely forgot the name uh of uh what you call something that you use to kill uh yeah sorry guys but anywho now of course naruto having a new weapon for the seasonal it was actually a katana which actually created shockwaves it's basically a bit like you know uh <clears throat> What's it called? Uh, uh, Madara's uh, Susanoo, uh, a bit like that. But anywho, now of course Naruto uh, <clears throat> uh, being able to destroy Nagato and in the end sealing with his own, uh, you know, uh, sealing uh, formulas that he had from Jiraiya. And, Jir and Jiraiya, just saying, he is in the, you know, uh, <clears throat> uh, HQ uh, of the uh, Shinobi Alliance because, uh, you know, Naruto of, uh, <clears throat> of well, because Jiraiya survived and you know Naruto saved the whole entire leaf village uh, he didn't die in the end but anywho now <clears throat> Naruto of course uh, you know after destroying Nagato he actually went off on his own to actually meet Obito of course Obito still here uh, had all of the Jinjuriki except for Gara. so he had seven not six uh, especially including Killer B but anywho now of course uh, uh, not including Killer B of course, Naruto's fight was going to be a lot harder since he's fighting all the uh, Jinjuriki here. And of course, um, my guy and uh, uh, even Saki came and uh, Kakashi came to help out. And in the end, you know, Naruto, um, he actually destroyed, what's his name, um, Son Goku. Uh, well, not destroyed, he saved Son Goku uh, from, you know, uh, the rod. And in the end, uh, you know, Son Goku uh, gave some chakra to Naruto and told them that he, they should help out Naruto. Um, by actually giving them some char, uh, some of it, uh, their chakra, each of the tail beast uh, beasts should. But anywho, now after this, you know, uh, Naruto uh, being able to save all the Jinjuriki, well, all the Jinjuriki and the tail beasts. Well, I say Jinjuriki, but all the tail beasts, thanks to you know him unlocking a KCM two because you know uh, <clears throat> the the Kuruma, not the uh, the Kuruma, the Ninetales in the end, you know, uh, said that it's fine. You can have my chakra, and anywho, of course, uh, in the end, you know, uh, the Nine Tails and Naruto combined, uh, well, combined, they were able to destroy all the tail beasts and save Saki, Kakashi, and you know, Matt Guy. Matt Guy was about to about uh, go into his, uh, you know, eighth gate, and <clears throat> you know, uh, <laughs> Saki was about to use her eternal Mongek Sharingan and her perfect Susanoo to, you know, try to save them or fly away, but in the end, Naruto came out of nowhere, and in the end, Naruto actually destroyed all of them, but he actually got the chakra of all the tail beasts, and since Killer B is not here, of course, it was going to be a bit harder for them, but, anywho, now, Naruto, of course, uh, well, uh, Obito says, oh, whatever, it's the same thing, same old, same old, uh, you're still weak, anywho, of course, now, uh, Obito got had enough and he's like yeah I'm summoning the Tentos you're taking a piss at this point but anywho after you know Obito summons the Tentos uh you know he has no more mercy and uh, you know Naruto is in danger of course now uh Naruto Mike guy and the uh, Kakashi uh, without Killer B though of course Killer B died so it's actually Saki who was there from the very beginning uh, of course uh, helping out uh the uh, mighty guy or naruto and kakashi of course uh it was much easier for them since they had saki instead of you know um <clears throat> killer b because saki is actually stronger than killer b here um easily but anywho, uh now uh, naruto and uh, you know um <clears throat> saki combined together to actually try to fight the tentacles uh, by using that majestic um you know Armored, Susan, uh, armored Kuruma, but in the end, Naruto actually adds his own, uh, you know, uh, majestic armor, and he, they have two majestic armors, but in the end, they still fail, and you know, Obito, and just saying, uh, the four Kage get revived in the end by uh, Orochimaru, but because Orochimaru wants to just help out, and you know, he knows that, uh, and just saying, um, <clears throat> Itachi alone was able to destroy Kabuto, he didn't need a Saki's help or Sasuke uh, here because he has the eternal Monkekyo and plus uh, <clears throat> Itachi would have done it alone in the first place because Itachi was going on his own anyway and plus it was easily a uh, win for Itachi especially because he had infinite chakra basically near enough infinite chakra and he could use he could just spam his Susanoo over and over again and plus he used the Izanagi in the end uh, just to overkill a bit but of course it's not working, it was the only way they could have done it. But of course, here he didn't even need to, you know, use the Izanagi. He just said that he's going to kill him and in the end, you know, Carpenter actually just followed his orders. And, you know, uh, <clears throat> then Carpenter actually, 
uh, revive the Orochimaru and Orochimaru returned and in the end they got the full Kage and the, uh, you know Naruto who was actually tired and Saki kept fighting while Kakashi was fighting Obito you know they got saved by Minato last second before the Tentos you know uh, destroyed them with his Tentos uh, you know uh, <coughs> tail beast and uh, of course Tsunade and just saying I completely forgot about uh, talking about Madara Madara still destroyed the five Kage with Jiraiya included with his Sage Mode and everything but anywho now after this you know uh, and just saying even Kakashi, even Jiraiya has uh, the Rasen Shuriken by the end, you know, that didn't really make too much difference. But, anyways, uh, Naruto, um, you know, um, well, the full Kage arrived to, you know, the full Hokage, it's not Kage, it's Hokage's arrived to save the Shinobi Alliance, but they didn't make too much difference, especially because Obito absorbed the uh, Tentos and became the Tentos Jinjuriki, so Jibito against, you know, uh, Saki, uh, oh, well, Saki, Naruto, and Itachi. Itachi actually helped out by actually using his Totsuka Blade, which uh, had no effect on, you know, uh, Tentos uh, Jinjuriki. Um, <clears throat> Uh, Jubito, oh well, Jubito, um, because he was so strong that he was able to, uh, you know, well, his Truth Seeker orbs, uh, he actually created a, you know, shield with the Truth Seeker orbs, uh, just to protect himself from the Totska blade because he didn't want to get sealed away. And anywho, now, of course, Naruto and um, the rest were able to pull out all the tail beasts. And uh, only uh, and Naruto now has all the tail beasts except for Shikaku because Shikaku was working with Gara Bendy and Madara still, you know, extracts the nine tails from Naruto and you know kills Saki so, uh, because Saki declined, you know, uh, working with him. But anywho, now of course uh, Naruto was dying, but the uh, same as Saki, but in the end, you know. Uh, so, uh, they met the uh, ten, uh, well, the uh, Sage of Six Past and Naruto's eyes, uh, you know, Naruto got so much power, same as Saki, Saki awoken, uh, awoke, uh, was able to awaken the, uh, you know, Rina Sharingan, but Naruto was able to awaken the Rina Sharingan as well, but not only that, on only one eye, uh, well, uh, Naruto's one is different, Naruto can actually activate and deactivate it because of his, you know, special eye things, yeah, because I gave him so much um, uh, plot armor, and plus, you know, he doesn't have both of the yeah, so he doesn't have, uh, you know, both the Rina Sharingans, but he has one. But together, him and Saki, well, him and Saki were able to destroy Madara, but in the end, um, you know, Madara, is, oh, well, Zetsu betrayed Madara to actually, you know, uh, <clears throat> revive Kaguya, and Kaguya returned to destroy all of them. But in the end, you know, Naruto, um, uh, well, Naruto and Saki were able to destroy Kaguya as well. Naruto was so strong that, you know, even Kaguya stood no chance, and you know, uh, he was actually able to uh, freaking kill Kaguya because of the amount of the strength he had. Literally, Naruto went all out, no mercy, and literally uh, just killed Kaguya on the spot by actually using his boil release uh, to an extent that his body literally was boiling. And as soon as Kaguya tried to even touch him, you know, um, she got killed. Uh, well, not killed, but of course, Naruto actually used his Susano plus the uh, Kuruma, you know, uh, the Kuruma thing. <laughs> well, it's Kuruma Avatar, not thing. Uh, <clears throat> and in the end, uh, you know, uh, he was able to add ball release to it and destroy Kaguya. And in the end, getting the Carmen Seal, the return. And, you know, uh, they actually do the right sign to actually, uh, you know, uh, return, every well, awaken everyone from the uh, Eternal, well, Infinite Tsukiyomi because. Uh, there was no fight in the end uh, since Naruto and uh, Saki aren't really enemies here. And in the end, Saki still, even though she wanted revolution, she realized that Naruto was the one to do it, uh, who was going to do it. And anywho, now, uh, of course, the cycle of hatred got destroyed. And uh, a few years later, Tonari still came. Naruto still saved, uh, you know, Hinata with Saki and Sakura Sai, Shikamaru. And yeah, in the end, uh, no one was there to protect, you know, uh, <clears throat> the village from that meteorite because uh obito i forgot to mention this obito actually was able to survive because of naruto actually being able to protect all of them because he killed they killed them before uh you know kaguya got them to the gravitational area or the her gravitational force uh field or whatever that thing yeah so they were able to win and yeah obito and kakashi combined they were able to use the sister to destroy the last bit of the you know um Meteorite, and that's where I'm gonna end off. I hope you all enjoyed it. Please okay, stay safe. This was a King of Weebs. And don't forget to subscribe to Retreat, my second channel, Miniman123, and also uh, help out my friend Hamesh. And also, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, well, follow Shoker on Instagram, follow me on Twitter and Instagram, and don't forget to join the Discord server. All links are in the descri description below. And peace.